Good evening, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our Twilight Talks. Tonight we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 39 and 40. Tyler. A wife is bound by law as long as her husband lives. But if her husband dies, she is at liberty to be married to whom she wishes, only in the Lord. But she is happier if she remains as she is, according to my judgment. And I think I also have the Spirit of God. All right. So <clears throat> even my footnotes, and I, I want to read my footnote um, on verse 39. In the Lord equals marry another believer. Um, it was absolutely, totally foreign to the early church for single Christians who, who, who had converted to ever marry anyone other than other Christians. It was totally foreign. And, and uh, you know, and people had used this and they, no. The thing about if an unbelieving spouse departs, most of the church at Corinth was made up of people who were Jewish or pagan prior to Jesus, Tyler. Corinth, I would have to assume the majority of them were pagan. They were pagan. They were all children of the devil. They couldn't even claim Jewish privilege. All right? So when they converted, sometimes the husband and wife both converted. A lot of times only one or the other converted. That's what all that stuff about if the unbeliever departs, not that as a child of God, you went and married someone who wasn't a child of God. Because if I'm giving instructions about marriage, why should a young woman be able to marry anybody she pleases, whether they're in or out of the church, but a widow can only remarry someone if they're in the Lord? That makes no sense. Because let's think, Tyler, for a second. 18, 19 year old female, she can pick the right husband right out of the gate because she knows about marriage and stuff. What do you think? Or we've got a woman in her 40s, say, that's been married for 30 years now she's a widow, but she can't remarry because she doesn't have enough sense how to pick a good husband except in the Lord. But a chick who's never been married, she can marry whatever she pleases because that makes perfect sense. Totally. No. That's why the instruction about widows says a widow can remarry only in the Lord. Because we don't need children of God rebinding themselves to unbelieving spouses. And, yeah, I know, you know, this, this is actually the least controversial part of everything that was on our possible choices for tonight. Um, people say to me for years, but brother, you know, I know one person that, you know, they, their spouse converted great and for every one of those I can tell you 10 of them where people fell away but generally it takes so many years before that person converts and gets on board and it just it, no there's all kinds of difficulties when you marry outside the Lord all kinds of difficulties and and then the other part of it uh, this last part you know where Paul says um, you know, I think that I too have the Spirit of God. He wasn't saying that, you know, he, he, he thought maybe the Holy Spirit backed him up on what his judgment was. No. The Corinthians, were they a humble church, Tyler, or were they a little bit arrogant? They were a little bit arrogant. You know, so when Paul says, I think I've got the Holy Spirit with me on this one, because the Corinthians... They had taken their spiritual gifts and gotten arrogant and they're like, well, we don't have to listen to you, Paul. Because later on, Paul will say, if anyone thinks that they're spiritual, let them acknowledge that everything I've written to you in this letter is the command of God. But here's the other reason Paul says, I think I have the spirit with me on this one. 
everything Paul deals with in 1 Corinthians 7 is all of the marriage issues that Jesus did not deal with during his public ministry while he was on earth. Every issue that Jesus dealt with about marriage and divorce while he was here on earth related to him answering questions of the Jews in relation to the law of Moses. Paul's dealing with pagans and he's bringing in the other half of the rules about marriage, separation, divorce, and remarriage. And if you mix that stuff up, you end up with a theology about marriage and divorce that frankly is just insane. The same Holy Spirit that gave Jesus what he said on divorce and marriage gave the Apostle Paul this. And the Corinthians were the ones who had a hard time accepting it. Mm -hmm. Not that Paul was like, hmm, I wonder if God's on my side. I think he is. No. But to people who argued and said, well, we got the Holy Spirit too. Well, this is from the Spirit. So if you guys think you're that spiritual, then you better get on board with this because this is God's will, period. And that's really what Paul's saying. So anything else you want to add, Brother Tyler? No, sir. All right, with Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Keller. We'll bid you good night.